out here in St. Andrews Bay. Doesn't even have a boat. It's a pole and some matrix. Getting the job done. All right, guys, let's just discuss on how we located these fish, where we are, what we're doing here. We're down here on the panhandle of Florida, Panama City Beach. We've, uh, I wish I would have brought a boat, but I've done a lot of walking around this resort here, lot, full of beautiful eelgrass everywhere. Some areas look good, never got a bite. Other areas had plenty of action. And the way we found the fish is that, and like I talk about all the time, the best way to cover water, you can cast this a country mile as top water, our matrix mullet. You wanna fish this at low light hours, relatively calm conditions, super cloudy days like we got right now. Now when I'm throwing this, I'm using our matrix mono. Mono floats a lot more than fluoro does, which gives this lure a better walk the dog presentation. And you're looking for a reaction strike out of the trout. So they really aren't gonna hone in on it and, and investigate it quite as hard. Now, once we found the trout or the areas that had them, I'd come back the next day and really dial, had them dialed in, switch this pole to our matrix fluoro. You know, this water clarity here is about five foot of visibility, I would say. Fluorocarbon is the key. We make a 15 pound matrix fluoro, which is perfect size for all your inshore speckled trout, redfish, flounder, bass. And here we're catching mostly speckled trout and it's been, it's been a blast doing so. So when I'm on these grass flats, once they peel off that top water, there's a lot of floating grass. You know, the rip shed or the minnow would work, but there's a lot of floating grass. I'm catching a lot of grass with the treble hooks. Go with the weedless lure like this. The Matrix Flute, got it. This is the big one, the five inch. The five inch fits a five odd. So you can use, this is an eighth ounce swim bait hook. You could use a 16th, a quarter, whatever you like. I like the eighth. I can cast it a, very far. It's got a lot of density. That's been very good. Now, on some of the deeper docks, or when I'm casting out a little bit deeper, or the, gra the floating grass isn't as bad, you can simply just cast and reel your favorite matrix shad on a quarter ounce or five sixteenths. Very effective. Caught plenty of fish this way too. Green hornet, multitude of colors, some X shads. Very, very effective. I've really just been impressed with the amount of speckled trout that's in this estuary, being able to catch this many and not even have a boat or have any clue of what we're doing. We even caught, uh, caught a bluefish, some bluefish, a couple of them actually, uh, croaker. Um, I'd imagine, I've seen a couple redfish floating in the flats. Couldn't get them to hit. They probably get fooled with a lot here. The, the redfish that I did see, they're sitting on the same dock day in and day out. They're pretty smart. Um, but by, I'm just blown away by the amount of fish that are um, just right here and catching them right off the bank. Can't wait to come back with a boat. See if we can get on some more fishing action here. There we go right there on the Matrix Fluke. I've been catching them on a little bit of everything today. Now here in Florida, trout have to be 15 inches. We've caught a few that would have been keepers, but a lot of always would be whoa, Louisiana keepers. But we're not keeping any fish anyway. Had no idea the fishing was this good. It's right here off the pier. Just uh, awesome, awesome deal. Been walking all over this 
area all week found some areas that really seem to hold fish um, fishing about five foot of water this pier is one of the longer ones so i can get that lure out far i'm not a big fan of wade fishing or that'd be very effective too definitely going to bring a boat next time but i hope you enjoyed this episode of dockside tv and make sure to subscribe to our monthly bait box you'll be getting some of these matrix flukes in your box um the some of the fluorocarbon line that we've been using our new matrix flora which is extremely important it's a necessity when fishing these clean bays off of the florida panhandle as we've went over before make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel check out all of our episodes fishing the panhandle this is our first time to st andrews bay it definitely won't be our last until next time good fishing Way to go. Have a good picking up. One, two, three. All right, Blakely. Way to go, Blake. You I'm trying to get fish. There you go. What kind is this, Blake? What kind of fish is that? You know this one. That's, That's right. Speckled baby. trout. That's right, Blakely. Good <laughs> job. Ooh, Daddy's going to have you fishing before That's long. And what kind is that? Speckle trout? Yeah. All right. Way to go. There he goes. Say bye-bye, fish. Bye-bye, fish. There, sweet. <laughs>